Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about SQL query interview questions. See, if you see in the recent days, whenever you attend an interview, the people are asking you to write the query in front of them. So it is not a uh, like a orally telling answer and questions. So people are asking us to write a query on the top of the paper nowadays. So let me show you what are all the major questions which the people are raising nowadays. So if you see here, there are a top six queries we can see in the window. The first one is select highest salary from employee table. Next one is get the employee details who has the highest salary in the table. Next, get the second highest salary from the employee table. Next, get the employees list who has the salary between X and Y. When I say X and Y is nothing but a between the range. Next, get the highest salary on department wise. If I have a 10 department, what is the highest salary on each and every department? Next, get the highest salary employee name along with a department. So these are all the six top questions people are raising over the interviews and you have to write the queries in front of them. So let me go to the SQL Server Management Studio. So in this, I will be connecting to that uh, my instance where I have an employee and department table. So let me connect it and show you. Uh, here I have a sample database. Under that, I have a employee table and department table. Let me show you first what is employee table. Select star from EMP. So this is my employee table. So which contains six records with ID employee, employee name, salary, joining date and department number. Next, let me show you the department table as well. Select star from DEP. So this is my department table. So if you see, so these are all my employee and department tables. So let me answer the questions one by one. So if you go to the first question, so how to get the highest salary from the employee table? Let me take this question and let me keep here. Not this. Yeah, keep here. So this is my first select the highest salary from employee table. So how to identify the highest salary? So in the SQL Server, we have a max keyword. So max keyword is the one so which will help you to identify the maximum value. It works only for the numerical values. It works only for the numerical columns. Now let me write it. Select max of sal. I am going to rename as yes, max underscore salary or max salary from EMP. If you see this, let me run this query. Yeah, we see this. This is the maximum salary in my employee table is 12,500. So let me run the employee table and, uh, and show you what is the maximum salary in the employee table. Yeah, if you see all the salary values, here I have 8,000, 12,500, 12,000, 9,000 and 4,000. The maximum salary in my table is 12,500. Let me run this and let me confirm you. Yeah, 12,500. So by any chance, so if they ask you the minimum salary, you simply need to put min, min of salary. Now let me run, let me change this. Or let me keep a one more uh, statement here. Comma, min of sal as min salary from EMP. Now let me run this. So by, when I run this query, I will be getting now maximum salary as well as minimum salary. Yeah, this is 4000 is the minimum salary in my table. 12,500 is the maximum salary in my table. That is the first question. This is how you need to write a query. If they ask for maximum salary or if they ask for minimum salary also, you need to write the, you need to answer the question in this way. The next question is get the employee details who has the highest salary. So if you see the difference between that question and this question, 
in the first question you will be getting only the highest salary in employee table in the second question you need to display all the employee details who has the highest salary now let me run this let me write a query so this can be achieved with the help of the sub queries so if you need a detailed information please watch my sub queries video now let me write it first i need to identify the highest salary how to identify the highest salary you know that select max of sand from emp so this is the one which will give me the highest salary okay now so let me write a sub query let me write a main query now select star from emp where salary equal to i need to keep this in the within the parenthesis it means that now if you see this this is my sub query so if i run this query whole query the first sub query will run first then this result will pass to the outer query so based on the sub query result my outer query is is going to give the result now let me run this now if i see this i will be having so this is the employee who has that 12500 and the maximum salary in the table so if you see id employee employee name salary and everything i got it now so who has the highest salary i got the details for the particular employee that is the second question this is how you need to answer so whenever you get a this kind of questions get the employee details who has the highest salary the next question is get the second highest salary from the employee table if you identify the difference between the first question and the third question first question gives the maximum salary in the table the third question give you the second highest salary second highest salary how to identify that so this is also we will be identifying with the help of the sub queries only then how to identify that let me write the sub query first select select salary let me first try this top to sal from emp order by sal bse so this is the one first it will give me the first two salaries which is in the order by dsc okay so this is my first two salary first top two salaries i got it now so now what i'll do is i'll write a main query so this main query which give me the second highest salary then how to identify that is i am going to write like this select top one sal from select top one sal from i am going to keep like this i am going to keep as sub query sub query i need to name it order by order by i need to make it as a sal now i am going to make it as a ascending order so if you see this i will be getting the second highest salary is 12000 now let me run the employee table if you see the data in the employee table the highest salary is 12500 the next salary is 12000 if you observe the result of this query now you can see that as a 12000 only if you want employee name also along with that nothing to worry you can simply keep emp name so here also you can keep as a emp name okay now if you see this you will get the second highest salary along with the employee name chris is a employee who has the second highest salary in my organization so this is how we are going to answer the third question get the second highest salary from the employee table along with employee name so i showed you how to get the second highest salary also how to get the second highest salary along with employee name so that is the third question now the fourth question is get the list of employees or get the employees list who has the salary between x and y x and y is nothing but a range x and y is nothing but a range 
now let me write the first select normal select query select star from emp so this is the query which will give me the list of employees all the employees then how to get the list of employees whose salary is between this particular range so that time how to do where salary between x y x is nothing but i am going to take it as a 7000 and y is nothing but 13000 it means that the people who has the salary in between these range i will be getting that let me run this query now if you see that my total table contains a six records but i got only five records because of this range let me change this range to 9000 now let me run this yes i got only three records because the salary having this range of only three records only so not only for salary so the people might ask you the joining date the people who have joined between these particular dates for those also you can ident you can easily write where joining date between this date and this date where employee id the whose employee id is in between 7 and 10 so that also you can write by using this between operator so with the help of this query you can answer this question get the employee list whose salary is between x and y whose joining date between x and y whose id between x and y see with the help of this uh, basic scenario you can answer many questions so the next question is get the highest salary on department wise how to get the highest salary on department wise if you compare the first question and the fifth question this is the highest salary in the entire table this fifth question is belongs to highest salary on the department wise if you see this how to write it as let me show you how to write it as let me copy this question let me keep here so that for better understanding okay now let me write a query select let me keep it as a star for basically later i'll change the column names select star from emp here i am talking about the department wise it means that i need to join employee table with a department table by using inner join so instead of writing inner join i am going to write simply join join dept d even join and inner join is same there is no change actually okay on e dot dept number equal to d dot dept number okay and so this is the this is how we join it but our question is get the highest salary on department wise so to get the highest salary on department wise i need to apply a group by group by department id or department name whatever it is either is same so i don't worry on the department number that's the reason why i'm going to take as department um, group by now let me change the column names what are all the columns i need i need department wise highest salary department name comma max of salary i'm going to rename as max salary if you see this so this is a query which will help me to give you the maximum salary on the department wise now let me run this if you see admin department is a department which is having maximum salary of 12000 non technical department which are of having highest salary of 12500 technical department which are of having as salary as 9000 so if you see let me run the query on the employee table let me run the employee table query see the employees are distributed across the departments if you see 30 30 departments are of having two salaries 12000 and 4000 okay 10 departments are of having 10 10 10 9000 is the maximum salary and 20 department which are of having salary only one that is 12,500. Now let me run this. So I'll be getting the maximum salary on each department wise. So this is how we'll get the department wise maximum salary. So this is how we write the query. We need to inner join with a department table and we need to apply a group by class as well because you need to group based on the department number because the question belongs to department wise. So this is how we write the queries. Now the last question is get the highest salary employee name along with department number see along with this i need employee name as well i need a employee name as well let me write the 
query for that. So to get this, I might need to write with a subquery. So how we written for the earlier, we might need to take the help of subqueries. So this subquery is how to write. I'll show you now. First, I need to get the department number and department name. Then I need to use it. First, let me write the department wise maximum salary. Then I'll apply that to the main table. Select. Let me keep star for time being from EMP E join DEPT D on E dot DEPT number equal to D dot DEPT number group by DEPT name. Okay, this is the old query only, but I need DEPT ID as well. Because in the final result, I need department number along with department name because I cannot join with a department name. So department number is the ambiguity column. So I need to specify this uh, alias name. Okay. Now here, what are the columns I need? First, I need department number. Again, I need to specify the alias table alias name. Otherwise, I will get the ambiguity department name comma max of salary as max salary max salary so let me write this if you see this i'll get department number department name maximum salary now let me run let me check let me answer this here i need is salary along with employee name now i am making this as a subquery Okay, so now let me write a uh, one more query here. Select. Let me keep it as a star from EMP E join on E dot department number equal to sub dot department number. Okay, so now what are all the columns I need? is if you see here e dot employee name comma sub dot department name comma sub dot salary maximum salary now let me run this if you see this here i'll be getting employee wise let me write salary wise as well and e dot salary equal to sub dot max salary so now let me get i will get only the maximum salary wise department wise maximum salary along with employee name if you see here in this if you see the result i will be having technical department maximum salary is 9000 the particular employee name is gary if you go to this non-technical department, the maximum salary is 12,500. The employee name is John. Admin department, maximum salary is 12,000. And the employee name is Chris. So this is how we will get the highest salary along with employee name and department name. So this is how we need to write the queries for our answer, for our uh, questions. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you get any new questions, Please comment your questions in the comment section so that I will answer those questions. Thank you. That's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.